Hello everybody and welcome to episode 14 of Glory Hunter. Welcome to the Europa League final as we take on Red Bull Salzburg in Dublin looking to secure our first trophy of hopefully many throughout this series. Now we have three results to run through from La Liga. We will do that first of all. And we start following the semi-final second leg defeat to Brighton by beating Raya via Carmo by two goals to one. Soloff and Bienia with the goals. We then drew with Alaves, but it could have been a lot worse. Juan Foyth was sent off just before halftime. Emil Smith-Rowe picking up a point for us. And last time out, we were beaten by Granoa, but we did have tonight in mind as Garcia and Savio scored the two goals. So that does mean... We miss out on Champions League football. So it's even more imperative tonight we win to make it into the Champions League next season. Obviously, it ticks off a trophy for us as well. Don't forget. Barcelona have won the title. We have a game left to play in La Liga. We play Mallorca on the final day. We'll see the result from that after the final to wrap up the season. So, yeah. Can we pick up our first trophy of this save. Red Bull Salzburg will have something to say about it. Let's have a look at the teams. So here are the two starting lineups for the final as Jorgensen starts in goal for us. Foyth, Select, Kansia, Simikas, Comsansa, Tigueros, Smithrow, Bienia, Clark, Mubereno leading the line. The Salzburg start with Mantel in goal. Morgala, Badu, Pavlovic, Didic, Bidstrup, Umer, Neni, Kalmari, Galuch with Kajalgerd leading the line. So can we pick up our first trophy of this glory hunter against a side that have knocked out some big names on their way through? Obviously, they were in the Champions League to start with Salzburg. They've knocked out Liverpool and they've knocked out Celtic on their route to Dublin. Can we beat them? I really hope so. I really hope so. They have travelled in their numbers, our fans, today. Not as much as Salzburg have. They've definitely got the more vocal support. Come on, lads. Let's see what we can do. Jorgensen with the goal kick in short to Santi. Thought we'd go with him today. A bit more of a base in midfield. Allow the front four to do their magic as Bienia picks it up. Plays it onto Smith Rowe inside the penalty area. Will he get shot away from the angle? He will, and he'll put us in front. Just after two minutes, Emil Smith-Rowe comes to the party in the final. And we lead early doors. In fairness, they give us so much space. It's criminal, really. Emil Smith-Rowe has just got to shoot beyond the goalkeeper. And he does. Get a bit of praise on the field, shall we? One up early doors. Can see her into Tigueros. Round the corner for Clark. Loses out, but Simakas picks it up and takes the baton. Kuransan. He's running down that left-hand side like his life depends on it. Ball into the area. Looking for Moreno. It's headed up in the air. Smithrow heads it down. Tigueros gets the shot away. Off the post and out. Unlucky. Plays it back in towards Simikas. They're back in numbers. Simikas lofts it towards Smithrow. Will he beat the goalkeeper? No, he will not. Dedic with the throw. Throws it into Oscar. In towards Kamari. Dedic again. Block the cross if we can. Oh, it's goal! My goodness me. That was close. Karagard. Into Ulmer. Through for Karagard again. Kamari picks it up. Plays it onto Nenny. He's got far too much space there. It goes across the front of goal. It's a good save from Jorgensen. Oscar picks it up. Dedic. Get it. Get it out. Go on. Corner. Salzburg have turned it on since going behind. Ulmer with the corner. Ball in towards that back post. We should win the header. We don't win the header. Palovic equalises. We've been so good at defending corners. That is annoying. Because he just out jumps us. Not really much we can do about it. But he pulls away at the back. And beats Jorgensen for 1-1. Two goals inside 10 minutes. Long. Whacking it down the field. Looking for Jack Clark to win the header. Doesn't do so, unfortunately. Bidstrup picks it up. Into Kamari. Onto Oscar. Plays it through. Kamari's inside the penalty. Select comes across and shuts the door. 
Hull there with it once more. Keep an eye on the men at the back post. Ball in towards the area. Are we going to get it clear? No, he's got another header on goal. This time it's wide from Palovic. Free kick. Oscar with it. Goes towards that near post. So let heads it away. But there is nobody there trying to win it. Oscar's coming inside the penalty. You've got to try and close him down. Jorgensen with a great save. And Neil Smith-Rowe has picked up an injury. We will have a look at it at half time. There might be a way of getting Alex Sorloff onto the field. There is the half time whistle. It was all started so well for us. And it has kind of unraveled since then. So yeah, Emil, despite having a very good game so far, is off, unfortunately. Alex Sorloff will come on. Moreno will go out to that right-hand side. That is the only thing we can do. Do we take off Wam Foyt as well? I think we do. Let's get Mandy on. He's on a yellow card. We've been unlucky so far. Come on! We haven't been unlucky. They have been very poor since the goal. Free kick. It's going to be Oscar on the free kick. Yeah, Oscar's on the free kick. He's going to have a shot. Is it from here? It's a long way out. He does have a go. Jorgensen turns it round. Probably could have caught it. To be fair, it's another corner to Salzburg. In front of the Villarreal travelling support. And we'll notice there are a few holes in the seating. There's quite a few holes in the seating. Oscar with the ball in. Looking for Jorgensen. He comes and he claims. Comes inside. Plays it on to Almeir. Plays it through. And then he picks it up again. He's got Simakas with him. Nice challenge, but then he picks it up, swings it towards the back post, looking for Oscar, and headed towards goal, but Jorgensen has got his hands on it. That's the thing we probably need to do, get someone with a bit of height on the field. Looking for Sorloff, that's better. He doesn't win the header, but that's a better thing to do. Kajani's in behind, and he has scored. How have we conceded like that? It's just a long ball that way, and then a long ball the other way. We don't want to win this, do we? We really don't. We have capitulated since we've gone in front. Just a header. And then it's a long ball in behind. That's not good enough. Free kick. Jorgensen with it. In towards Santi. In midfield. Don't lose it there. Tigueros plays it on. We d we're we not looking after the ball at all. At the moment. Oscar. Plays it through to Kamari. He's in behind for 3-1. Not like this. Ball to the edge of the box. Dedic picks it up. Gets the shot away. And it's over the top of the bar. But only just. Right. I have seen enough. So it's going to be Jack Clark to come off. We're going to go with Pablo Fornells out on the left for now, though. He's back and he is ready to go. Simicas is going to come off. Vasquez is going to come on for him. And we're going to take off Concia as well. And we're going to bring on Gabia. We've got no more changes to make. Fantastic. I have used everything. We've just taken the players off that are not performing, frankly. They're all on 6.3s and not having a great day at the office. Tigueros with the corner. Can he find Soloff? He can for 2-2. Two -two. Well done, Alex. Good man. That's what we needed. Half an hour to play in the final and we are back level again. Tigueros with the corner. Alex Soloff at the near post. Heads it beyond the goalkeeper. Just like that. Praise them. Come on. Give me more. Can he find a ball into the centre? He'll find Oscar. Will he get a shot away? No, he'll find Bidstrup. Will he get a shot away? You've got to try and close him down, for goodness sake. Somebody put in a foot. Another corner. Salzburg starting to turn it in the opposite direction again. We had to change three out of the four at the back. That's criminal in a final. Absolutely criminal. Badu with a shot. Great save from Jorgensen. Ulmer playing it into midfield. Come on, make a challenge. Oh, no, 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 no. No, they're coming forward in numbers again. Come there. Get round on the cover, somebody. Jorgensen with an easy save in the end. Into the last 10 minutes of the final. A goal now for anybody is probably fatal. Moreno. Ball over the top looking for Soloff. He's not going to win that. Badu picks it up easily. Plays it back to his goalkeeper. Pressure on the ball. Ball out. Mandy heads it on. Moreno will not get there. Ulmer. That's it. Keep it in this half of the field. That'd be nice, wouldn't it, for a little while. Vasquez with a header down. Beaten in the air, though. Bidstrup. Three in the attack. Four including him. Ball. And Vasquez easily deals with that. Looks like we might be seeing a bit of extra time. Plays it wide to Rakic. On to Dedic. You've got to keep working, boys. I know you're tired. You've got to work. Ball back in. 
Oh no, not like this. Mandy has brought down Rakic. I mean, he's rolling round on the ground like he's been shot there, son. It's definitely a penalty. It's a yellow card. Come on, Philippe. Come on. Kamari with the penalty. Jorgensen with the save! To keep his side in it. Could that be a big moment in the game? Soloff wins the header. Keep it from going out. Oh, no! Oh, Sajic is coming through the field. Dedic on that right-hand side now. We've got it, have we? No, we've lost it. Good Edo. Don't let him shoot. Don't let him shoot either. Ball in. Oh, not like that. No. Oh, is he? Flags up. Flags up. Won't count. Oh. Bienya. Tigueros. Plays it up the line. No, oh, come on. Five minutes of added time to come. Oh, and we've given it away. In probably the worst place possible. He's offside, though. The man through the middle. Select comes across with a good challenge. Moreno's coming back to try and help out. You've got to try and help at this point. It's a ball to the far post. Vasquez heads it away. Will it keep in play? It will with Nenny. Ball across into the centre, but he's offside. Jesus Christ almighty. And then we've got one sub to use at heart at extra time. And it's a decision of who comes off at this point. We might not need it. Oh, God. And that is the end of the 90 minutes. We have been battered. Second half, absolutely battered. Right, we are going to make a change at the start of extra time. And it's going to be Gerard Moreno that's going to come off. And we're going to bring on Denis Suarez. Vienna will go out to that right-hand side. Denis Suarez will go down the centre. No, he won't. He'll go out to the left. Fornals will go down the centre. Time for everyone to dig in. Yeah, absolutely. Come on. We've made our final substitution. Thank God we got an extra one. With extra time, eh? Select. Plays it inside to Tagueros. Obviously, he can go all the way if it needs to. I really hope it doesn't get that far. I really hope it doesn't get that far. I don't think we've got that many takers on the field, to be brutally honest. Bienya. Foul. Oh, cynical foul. Select is trying to get back behind the ball. We're all trying to get back behind the ball, to be fair. That's it. Take it away from him there. Plays it inside to Badu. Onto Bidstrup. Plays it into Sudic. The pattern begins again. Sudic has come through the field, though. He's got the shot away. Jorgensen with a great save. Got an 8.2 at the moment. Jorgensen is keeping his side in the final. Santi picks it up. Goes cross field. Is he going to make it? No, he doesn't make it. They've made a couple of changes in extra time. If only he had waited and left some. Eh? Denis Suarez on the left-hand side, though. Man that did come on in extra time. And he plays it through to Alex Soloff. That's a great ball in, but it's over the top from Alex, unfortunately. Are they playing for penalties? Half time in extra time. Oh, my Lord. We are 15 minutes away. We're still pushing. We, I know no other way than to try and keep scoring goals. Vasquez through to Denis Suarez. Two inside the penalty area. Another man coming. Solov puts it wide. He was offside anyway. Didic. Trying to go around the outside. Keep with him. Ball in towards the area. Are we going to win the header? We aren't. But it's gone wide of Jorgensen's goal. Now going through my mind with the five that might well take one. Have I got five? I think I've got five that can take one. Definitely four. Tigueros. Plays it through. Gives it away. We might not need them. Here comes Salzburg. Final attack probably of the tie. Are we going to deal with it? Oh no we're not going to deal with it. Select. Oh you little beauty. Signing of the season. Without question. Just shut the door on it. Bienya. Brings it forward. Tigueros. Pablo Fornells. Into Alex Orloff. Oh save by the goalkeeper. I mean, it would have been just us if we pinch it right at the last minute. Given we have been by far the inferior side in the final. Tigueros with the corner. To win it in added time, in extra time. Don't take your time. I really don't get this. Tigueros with the ball to the back stick. I think the keeper's going to come and claim penalties it is. Okay. So yeah, Tigueros goes first. 
Soloff will go second. Suarez third. Bienya fourth. Fornals will take the last one. Concia, then Gabia, then Vasquez, then Mandy, then Solette. And then if we get to Jorgensen, well, goodness knows. Right, relax, pick your spot, don't change your mind. That's the biggest thing in a penalty shootout. Don't change your mind. Right, Ratok is going to go first for Salzburg. They are the first team to take a penalty. Jorgensen doesn't save that one, just kind of lays down. It's going to be Tigueros for us first. Okay. Come on. Tigueros with the penalty, and it's saved. Not a great start. Tuco for Salzburg. Second penalty. Will he score? He will. Jorgensen, you need to dive the other way, son. It's going to be Alex Soloff for us. Second penalty to get one on the score sheet. Can we do it? Come on, Alex. Yes, he does. Now we need Jorgensen to make a save again. Badu comes forward for penalty number three for Salzburg. Will he save it? Yes, he will. Good man. Right. To get us level again. Denis Suarez. Third penalty. Will he fire it beyond the goalkeeper? Yes, he will. Just about. Goes the right way, the goalkeeper. Palovic. Scored in the game. Can Jorgensen save another one? Palovic. Fires it in. Great penalty. In to Alex Bienya. Can he... Fire it home. Quick run up. Good penalty. 3-3. Three, three. On to the last ones now. Dedic. For Salzburg. Up against Jorgensen. Will he make a save? No, he won't. Right. We are in sudden death before we get there. Pablo Fornals is the last man up for us. On loan from West Ham. Fulmer Villarreal player. He's taking a long walk as well. Where is he? Here he comes. Pablo Fornals. Take your time. To take us to sudden death. Or to give Salzburg the title. But he scores. Well done, Pablo. Bitstrup. Can Jorgensen make another save? Come on, Philippe. No. Now it comes down to the players that didn't really want to take one. And it is going to be Gabia. No, Santi's first. Come on, Santi. Is that a good game? Trots forward. Although his central midfield partner, he missed the first penalty. Will Santi score? Santi will score. Okay, good penalty. Sudic came on in the second half. I think he came on in extra time. Will he score? Yes, he will. Oh. Now we're on to Gabia. 6-5. The shootout. We are in the pressure position of being second. We need Gabia to score to keep this going. 6-5. Come on, Gabia. Just roll it in the corner. And he <laughs> slams it down the centre. That's a great penalty. Kamari. Been on since the beginning. Pressure cooker situation is starting to occur, but he has scored. Next man up for us. I forget who it is. We will see him at the bottom left. It is going to be Vasquez, bought in in January. Bought on today for Simicas. Young man, will you do the honours for me, please, and keep this going? Scores. Keep a dive completely the wrong way. It's 7-all. Panofsky, who came on in extra time as well. Can Jorgensen make another save? No. Just goes through him. Next man up is Mandy. Okay. Come on, son. Trots forward. I'd just hit it if I were you. Yeah, don't think about it. Just hit it. Will he hit it? Will he score? Yes, he will. <laughs> we keep going. Goodness me. Gundo. Did all right when he came on. Don't want him to do all right at this point. 
Come on. Jorgensen, will he make a save? He will! He'll dive down on it! Penalty number 10, which means it's going to be Umar. Come on, Select. Man of the season. Signing of the summer. Can he be the man that secures the trophy? Go on, son. Will he score? Yes, he will! Wonderful! 9-8 on penalties. Philippe Jorgensen, the hero from the penalty spot. And we have won the Europa League. I really don't know how. But we have. Gerard Moreno is going to be the man to lift it. And he will lift it high. There goes the fireworks. We have one trophy in the bag. What drama from 12 yards. Wow. I need to lay down. So there we have it. We had two shots on target the entire game. We scored two goals from it. Salzburg will feel very disappointed. It is very much smash and grab. But we take it. So our Europa League heroes returned home. And they beat Mallorca on the final day of the season. Alex Sorloff and Jack Clark scoring the goals. So the final La Liga table looks like this. Barcelona won it at a canter in the end. 12 points clear of Real Madrid, who finished second. Atletico Madrid third. There is Sociedad in fourth. Three points in front of us, but we qualify for the Champions League, obviously, by winning the Europa League. Almeria and Celta Vigo will be playing in Europe next season. So going down, we say goodbye to Real Betis. We say goodbye to Granoa. And we say goodbye to Getafe. Cadiz have had the greatest of great escapes on the final day of the season. And we have one trophy in the bag as the glory hunter will continue. But will we stay at Villarreal? Obviously, we are playing Champions League football next season. I don't expect this team to win the Champions League. Can we win La Liga? next season we have a 25 point gap to make up so we may well go somewhere else and come back to spain at another time just thinking about it logically this side will need a lot of rebuilding to get it ready to challenge barcelona and real madrid at the top of the table draws were a problem this season we only lost six games we drew 12 which is the main reason why we missed out on Champions League football in the first place. But hey, we have a trophy in the bag. Let's celebrate it. And I will see you next time for the next episode of Glory Hunter. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.